SK Hynix is one of the few companies in the world that you might call a level 1 SSD maker, as they design and make their own NAND flash, DRAM, and even controllers. Few in the world, save for Kyoxia, formerly Toshiba, Samsung and Micron spring to mind that offer that level of vertical integration. Most other brands take a Fizen controller, buy in some NAND flash and DRAM, and stick it all together. So to have something like this, the SK Hynix Platinum P41 and all SK Hynix drive, well that's something special. This P41, not to be confused with the uh, Solidine P41 Plus that we will definitely be coming back to in a second, uses SK's 176 layer TLC NAND flash, specifically two 1 terabyte packages on this 2 terabyte drive, as well as SK's own LPDDR4 DRAM cache, and finally SK's Ares controller. All of that in a single-sided 2280 form factor. Now, I mentioned Solidime there, and that's frankly a massive part of this story. SK Hynix has made even consumer-grade SSDs like this for a while. In fact, this P41 isn't exactly new, launching in 2022. But also in 2022, SK Hynix bought out Intel's NAND flash division that brought you the Intel 660 and 670p drives, and spun that out into Solidine, a mix of solid, as in solid state drive, and paradigm, as in paradigm shift in the SSD market. I reviewed their P44 Pro in January last year, and as it turns out, the P44 Pro is just a Platinum P41 in Solidine drag. It too features an SK Hynix Ares controller, SK Hynix DRAM, and SK Hynix 176 layer TLC NAND. These are essentially the same drives. So how do they perform? Well, being PCI Gen 4x4 drives, pretty damn well. Starting with Crystal Diskmark, you'll find the P41 sitting around 6.5 gigabytes per second in writes, and nearly 7.2 gigabytes per second on reads. There is a bit of a discrepancy between my P41 and P44 Pro data, as the P44 Pro was tested with a slightly different system and there is just sort of run-to-run -run variation between them, but unfortunately they took the drive back after that review, so I can't rerun those numbers. With that said, they offer pretty close performance, so it's no big deal there. At a Q depth of 1, we see the biggest difference between a Fizen based uh, controller based drive and the more sort of, we might call true Gen 4x4 controller, like the Ares one. The, the P41 matches the P44 Pro and writes at 4.9 GB per second, which is a little down from the Fizen based drives, but on reads, it's worlds different, at between 5.5 and 6 GB per second, almost double the Silicon Power XS70. With random reads and writes, rather than sequential, you always get lower performance. Although, interestingly, both the P44 Pro and the Platinum P41 struggle here by comparison to those Fizen drives. You get around 750 megabytes per second on reads and about 500 megabytes per second on writes, compared to over 700 on writes with a Fizen based drive, and nearly a gigabyte per second on reads, at least on some of them. And lastly, for Crystal Disk Mark anyway, uh, you get uh, with a random 4 kilobyte blocks and a Q depth of 1, you see the P41 second only to the brand new and frankly DRAMless Crucial P310 2230 drive, both in reads and writes. As for AS SSD, you'll find the P41 up at the top, second only to the Samurant Rocket 4 Plus, at least on write performance. AS SSD always runs a little lower than most other tests, so the 5.8 gigabytes per second in both reads and writes here is actually pretty great. With random 4 kilobyte blocks, we again see the P41 up at the top, this time second only to the Crucial P310, with exceptional performance in writes and pretty average performance in reads. And with 64 threads for those 4 kilobyte blocks, you find middle of the pack right performance, but actually class leading performance on reads. It's the fastest drive I've tested in reads, 
which is really pretty impressive. And lastly, for the fully synthetic benchmarks, ATTO sees the P41 eke out a lead in read performance over the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus, running at just over 7 gigabytes per second and frankly incredibly strong write performance too. It's clear that the P41 is an incredibly fast drive, and one that offers exceptional performance pretty much across the, the board or across the block size here. As for a slightly more real-world stress test, I like to duplicate a large data set of files to stress the, the controller and the drive in reads and writes simultaneously, and then continue to copy data until the SLC cache runs out to see the sort of bare NAND performance. And for this P41, we start off incredibly strong with around 3 gigabytes per second at the start. That is excellent, as even the Crucial P310, I think the fastest drive I tested thus far, runs at around 2.5 gigabytes per second in the same test. That's fantastic, and actually the good news continues because the SLC cache, at least on this 2TB model anyway, doesn't run out for several hundred gigabytes of transfers. Just shy of 300 gigabytes, in fact, where it then reverts to between 1 and 1.5 gigabytes per second, which again is one of the best results that I've seen. It's safe to say this is an incredibly fast drive. So, should you get a Platinum P41? Well, yeah, if you want a Gen 4x4 drive anyway, it's one of the fastest and reasonably priced uh, drives that you can get. Of course, you could also get the Solidine P44 Pro, which at least at the time of filming is like £5 cheaper for the 2TB version than the P41. Uh, both are greats and both are all SKNX parts, which I definitely do attach some value to. Of course, those are my thoughts, but I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. What do you think of the Platinum P41 and the Solidine P44 Pro, since they're basically the same drive? And also, just what other Gen 4x4 drives are you, you interested in? Would you pick instead? Let me know in the comments. I will leave a link to this one and the Solidime one in the description if you're interested. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this one, you can hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification icon, check out plenty of other videos on the end cards, including that Crucial P310 review, because um, that's a really cool drive, really, uh, really impressed me. Um, otherwise, if you want to support the channel, there's just a load of links in the description. And otherwise, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, we'll see you on the next video.